How has how's it been working with Coach Mark so far, and what are what are some of the things that they've had you do on the court? Uh, first of all, he's a great guy, you know, a great person. He's always for you there after a practice if you need anything. It doesn't have to be about basketball. Um, you can talk to him. Um, from basketball standpoint, he's a great, you know, great coach. Knows a lot of things. Um, we're, you know, in a process learning each other. So, you know, it feels great for some to be in a team like this and practicing with him. Next, we'll go to Nick Gallo with Thunder Broadcasting. Hey, Alexi. Um, what have you learned so far? Uh, I know it's early, but on the defensive end of the of the floor. Well, you know, there are stuff like you got to be on your position. You got to be tough. You got to be playing one on one defense. You know, you got to show your chest, open your hands. Um, you know, be there for your teammates, help each other, and just you know, at the end of the day, it's about you know winning game. You you got to be there and play tough. Next, we'll go to Royce Young with ESPN. Uh, I have kind of two questions here for you. Um, one, when is the last time you played in a like actual five-on-five -five competitive game, um, and uh, like like how long has it been? Yeah. And then two, um, what what's it been like with that length of time that's kind of passed coming in? No summer league, limited training camp for you as a rookie and a young player. How's that kind of whirlwind? been for you first i don't remember when i played last time for sure it's got gotta be a year or something like that but you know i was practicing pretty, pretty hard until now um you know getting better on the court feels great but you gotta get in shape as fast as you can because the guys are here you know ready all the time ready and you know getting better on the court um you gotta you gotta work tough from the first day because we will have a lot of times like the camp is like twenty days or something like that. So we gotta pick everything, pick up everything fast, and just learn fast as we can, and be there one hundred percent every day. Quick follow up, if I can. Um, so like even like the rookie stuff that you have to deal with, where you know finding a place to live, finding a car to drive, like all that stuff is really accelerated because of the amount of time and the situation. What, what has that type of thing been like for you to, to show up and you're trying to get acclimated as, to be an well, NBA player? Well, you know, we are professional. We got to be there. You know, whatever type of, of things are happening around us, we got to be ready for them. We got to be professional. We got to do it every day on the court as it was normal because, you know, that's what, what is asked for us, from us. You know, we just got to all the stuff out of the court. You know, uh, people from, from the club are helping me. They are there for me, so everything is easy with them. Thanks, man. Thank you. Next, we have Myron Patton with Fox 25. Yeah, Royce kind of hit on something I was uh, going to ask you about, which is the bigger issue, the cultural change or the basketball issue? The, the basketball, which is bigger for you? Uh, the basketball way? Yeah, just which is bigger to, to deal with, the cultural change, you know, coming to a different uh, country, different environment, or just the basketball where it's obviously going to be a step up for you, I would think. You know, I mean, basketball, you, I'm going to pick it up, you know, just work, work as you said, I'm going to work every, every day hard. Um, I have some experience with that because I was, when I was young, I left from my uh, home country when I was 13. So, you know, I have experience from that sort of point, even with the culture of, of uh, you know, city that I'm living in. Um, it's just, you know, quiet city, as I said last time. It's a quiet city, um, you know, everything is pretty easy. People are close to you. They can help you all the time. They're here for you. So there's nothing hard for me at this, at this point of uh, at this point of my life. You know, it's just, I'm happy to be here. What was it like that first practice or the first group workout with you? You're, you're with other NBA players, other rookies, young guys like yourself. What was that whole experience like? It was great to know you are one of the, one of the with the players that are one of the best, you know. Um, even the the older guys like George Hill and all Harper is it's here. Um, they're you know they're showing you the way to follow them on a practice. You know, it, it's you know for th first three days aren't easy, but you know 
everything, everyone is just here helping you learn everything. Uh, coaches there, players are there, teammates, uh, all the stuff. So you know, I don't feel any any anything is hard in this time. Well, welcome. Next, we have Cliff Brown with AP. Yeah, who are the players that you looked up to the most growing up? And then also some guys that you may have tried to style your game after or try to play like. Yeah, um, I had a question last time, so I'm going to answer the same way. You know, there are a lot of good players and a lot of players that as you are growing, you're watching basketball and you're watching uh, players that are great, but I always wanted to play my way of basketball. That's what I think. Um, even even now, I'm doing the same thing that I was doing when I was younger, like 10, 11 years old. I'm doing the same things. So I don't, you know, I'm not trying to copy anyone. Next, we have Joe Masada with the Oklahoman. Yeah, Alexi, I, I was wondering, um, you touched on it a, a little bit, but can you sort of describe your path sort of from a young age leaving Serbia? I, I think you said you were 13 and, and then moving to Greece to play professionally. What was that like just as a young kid? Um, uh, yeah, as you said, I was 13 when I left Serbia and I went to Greece. Well, I got to thank the people from Greece, you know, the club Olympiakos. They're amazing club, amazing people working in there. Um, I felt as, as, I felt like it was my home from day one. Um, you know, it just it was tough. You know, as a young guy going there, going there by yourself. Um, you know, in the other country, other culture, everything is you know you don't know any, anything and anyone. But you know, you get used to it. As I said, the, club, the guys from the club helped helped me like hundred percent. So, so did your family move there with you at any point or were you yeah yeah like, yeah for sure they moved like half um half a year later something like six months maybe they they came with me um it was it was getting easier but you know by the time do they still live in greece or did they move back to serbia um right now they're in greece um my brother's in serbia um we're gonna probably you know this is my second house for sure Second home. And then last thing to that point, do you sort of draw on those experiences from the past of making a big, big move like that before and now, you know, you know, moving to Oklahoma City, going yeah. to the NBA is pretty similar in that sense? Yeah, you know, it's pretty same. Um, it's a bigger level, but it's pretty same, you know, because here I'm alone by myself right now. Um, but I have, as I said, I have experience about that. You know, just keep it calm. Listen to, as I said, listen to everyone. Listen, 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 and just learn. And everything's going to be okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Alexei. Thank you very much.